While everybody else is distracted, the globalists are making absolutely enormous moves. Previously, I have talked about the UN's new worldwide system for cracking down on misinformation, and about their desire to implement a global system of digital identification that is tied to our bank accounts. I realize that these things sound really wild, but they aren't being done in secret. In fact, the globalists are very proud of what they are doing. But only a small percentage of the population is even aware of this insidious agenda that they are pushing through, and so, there is very little debate about it. Ultimately, the globalists want to create a system that would literally give them total control of everything. Sadly, I am not exaggerating one bit. For example, the Bank for International Settlements has released a blueprint that calls for the creation of a unified ledger that would eventually record ownership of all assets on the entire world. The following is an extended excerpt from that blueprint, which comes directly from the official website of the BIS. This chapter presents a blueprint for a future monetary system that harnesses the potential of tokenization to improve the old and enable the new. The key elements of the blueprint are CBDCs, tokenized deposits, and other tokenized claims on financial and real assets. The blueprint envisages these elements being brought together in a new type of financial market infrastructure, or FMI, a unified ledger. The full benefits of tokenization could be harnessed in a unified ledger, due to the settlement finality that comes from central bank money residing in the same venue as other claims. Leveraging trust in the central bank, a shared venue of this kind, has great potential to enhance the monetary and financial system. A unified ledger transforms the way that intermediaries interact to serve end users. Through programmability and the platform's ability to bundle transactions, compassability, a unified ledger allows sequences of financial transactions to be automated and seamlessly integrated. This reduces the need for manual interventions and reconciliations that arise from the traditional separation of messaging, clearing and settlement, thereby eliminating delays and uncertainty. The ledger also supports simultaneous and instantaneous settlement, reducing settlement times and credit risks. Settlement in central bank money ensures the singleness of money and payment finality. Moreover, by having everything in one place, a unified ledger provides a setting in which a broader array of contingent actions can be automatically executed to overcome information and incentive problems. In this way, tokenization could expand the universe of possible contracting outcomes. The unified ledger thus opens the way for entirely new types of economic arrangement that are impossible today due to incentive and informational frictions. The eventual transformation of the financial system will be limited only by the imagination and ingenuity of developers that build on the system, much as the ecosystem of smartphone apps has far exceeded the expectations of the platform builders themselves. So, who would be in control of this unified ledger? Needless to say, it would be the globalists. And as Mike Adams has pointed out, this would mean that your ownership of assets can be revoked or altered at any time. This new plan describes an Orwellian globalist-run unified ledger that records the ownership of all assets, checking accounts, real estate, bonds, stocks, etc. on a centralized exchange run by globalists. All assets will be tokenized, a process that the BIS describes as recording claims on financial or real assets that exist on a traditional ledger on a programmable platform. This unified ledger will feature programmable entries, meaning that your ownership of assets can be revoked or altered at any time, according to the social engineering desires of the globalists. Ownership of all assets on the entire world would be determined by their unified ledger, and so, if you are a really bad boy or girl, they could go in and simply transfer ownership of everything that is yours to someone else. With just a few clicks, you would own nothing and would become a total outcast. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Of course this is just one element of the globalist agenda. 
They also want to give the UN unprecedented emergency powers at the summit of the future in September 2024. The powerful United Nations is now seeking to increase its influence worldwide by seizing global emergency powers, and President Joe Biden supports their proposal. Interestingly, the UN proposal would begin September 2024, a mere two months before a highly anticipated general election in the US. The global organization will host a summit of the future, where associated nations will adopt a so-called Pact for the Future. The Pact for the Future includes a provision which will create an emergency platform for the United Nations whenever a major global shock is deemed to have occurred. So, if there is another global pandemic, a world war, an economic collapse, or some other sort of worldwide emergency, the United Nations would suddenly be telling everyone what to do. The emergency platform would provide the international body with power over all nations in times of distress. Such power, according to the UN, is needed to ensure that all participating actors make commitments that can contribute meaningfully to the response, and that they are held to account for delivery on those commitments. According to the UN's policy proposal, the Secretary-General could extend the emergency platform, if need be, despite its duration being set for a finite period. Such a decision would be made without the consent of any member nations. Do you really want the UN to have that sort of power? Unfortunately, the White House fully support this proposal. And if they get their way, our entire society will be completely turned upside down. Let me leave you with one more example. A globalist organization called the Erup Group that has close ties to the World Economic Forum is actually proposing a complete and total end to private car ownership. On construction, cities need to change what types of buildings and infrastructure are built, as well as what materials are used. On transport, private car ownership needs to end, and the shared vehicles that replace it have to use less materials and be longer lasting. Urban residents will also need to adopt a largely plant-based diet, mostly replace flying with less energy-intensive forms of long-distance transport, change how clothes and textiles are consumed, and keep electronics and household appliances for longer. These people are insane, but they are going to keep pushing the envelope until someone stops them. If you plan to object to what they are doing, you should take a stand while you still have the freedom to do so. We are living during one of the most critical times in all of human history, and we need men and women of courage that are willing to speak the truth. Because lies and deception are seemingly everywhere these days, and darkness is growing all around us at a pace that is absolutely staggering. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.